All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another Real Talk video. I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed day as we give the Most High all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise and worship. My title now says, Why are blacks hated so much? Why are black people hated so much? Um, let me give a shout out to Mr. Don. Um, powerful, powerful email. Uh, so I'm going to just... Um, make this a, a real talk video and I'm not about to talk ignorant I'm not about to talk stupid uh, first of all let me say this off top I have no problem with color um, I love people period I look at people's heart um, I love how when I see different people of different races fellowship with each other able to talk to each other able to love one another which is rarely what we see um, but everybody don't hate black people. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and do this and use the term black so a lot of people will, you know, understand what I mean because I, for one, hate the term black. I don't use the term black, nor do I call myself black man, you know. When you look at this cap on my head, all that speaker hanging on the wall back there, that's that's what you want to call black. I'm not that color. Um, it's like when you don't know who you are, when your identity has been lost, then you will forever stay lost because first of all, you're not gonna know your history. Um, so um, off top, um, when you think about this world we living in, um, so much is going on, you know, so much in, in our race. Um, I know what you see is, is heartbreaking. Um, and it look like the longer we are around her, it get worse and worse. See, I'm going to come from a spiritual standpoint. Y'all know me. I talk about what the media don't address. I come from a, diff a different perspective on things because I don't walk around foolish. I don't walk around with the blame game because I understand which system I'm living in. You know, I understand which system I'm operating in. You know, and when you learn, when you learn better, you do better. Now, I'll be the first to say we have not been the only people that have struggled. Let's get that out the way. I know people that, and that's just on, not only just the color of their skin, black, if that's what you want to call it, but have struggled in different races. So I'm going to speak truth and um, real talk. What's going on this, in this country is, is sick, but is it new? It's not new. It's not new at all. Um, you might say what they've been doing, they're just doing it a little bit harder now. Because when you go back to Martin Luther King in them times, they was billy clubbing you, beating you with the billy club, spraying you with the water hose. Nowadays, they just straight gun you down, you know. I was listening to, at um, Steve Harvey Morning Show these last two and three days in a row. And... Uh, they got a question going on on there about it. What do you think is the biggest issue in this country today? You know, who can solve it? What's the, what's the, um, what's the plan? And uh, everybody so far, I'm just going to say so far, that I've heard called in haven't said nothing spiritual. Because we keep making it, you know, against flesh and blood which is the complete opposite of what the Bible say. I've been waiting on somebody to say who we are, why we being treated this way, why so many people hate us. I didn't say everybody. Why are black people, as the title of this video says, why are blacks hated so much, gunned down so much? When, when any, any time you want to learn something, then you got to go back to where it starts at, how it started, what started it, so, in this video, I'm going to talk from a spiritual standpoint, you know, because there is a difference between biblical history, uh, slavery, let me say, versus this so-called America slavery, like people say. What they do is use the Bible to justify what they do is right, but what they don't do is rightly divide the words. See, in biblical slavery, it didn't matter what color you was. If you owe somebody, you became their slave. And what they do now is put black people in with all this other stuff. Now, when you talk about chosen, that's what I want to get at in this video too. When you are chosen, you're going to always be hated. 
You're gonna always been done. You're gonna always be done wrong, my brothers and sisters. When you know who's the chosen people, the color, who claim to be these real Jews, that's fake Jews. Go back to the Bible. Why, why was the Jews also being persecuted so much? See, I know they have all these Ten Commandments movies, all these movies and stories and books and stuff that they have out with their outlook on always leaving the color of us out of there. But biblically speaking, we in the Bible. <laughs> we we we've been here way longer than people this American history tell you. When you look at what happened to us, what we lost, then you understand the truth, and then you you'll look at this totally different than all this black and white and all this stuff. You'll come from a, a, a spiritual standpoint. So that's what I'm going to focus on in this video. But nobody on the Steve Harvey show so far, morning show, have addressed this in a spiritual manner about this is a battle not against flesh and blood. This is evilness. These are demons. So I keep telling people, I'm going to say this again in this video, everybody on this planet that you see is not really who you see. When, when the Bible said it was going to be just like the days of Noah, before Yahshua returned, you got to go back to Noah Day and understand what went on in Noah Day. So when he said it was going to happen again, here it is. And people keep talking about he coming soon, but they leaving out all the events that must take place. They too busy setting another rapture date. See, believe what you believe half of what you see is like I tell people, and some or none of what you hear. Because the media is good. Their job is to promote fear. Remember that. They're not gonna make no mo they're not gonna make too much money if it's nothing to talk about with fear. Why? Because fear makes you not operate in faith. And then look who the media is owned by. When you are chosen, people want you dead. They will find ways to kill or have you killed. Now it's distractions. I hate, once again, I hate no race, no color. You know what I hate? The devil. And the devil rides through everybody. He don't use, it, I, I, let me say this right, he uses any skin color, any race you can think of, because sin has no color. But when you look at the way the Bible describes Yahshua, and then you look at all these years, how they give you a picture of a white Jesus with blue eyes. No, I'm not the, I'm not about to go all the way off in details about that because I've already, excuse me, done videos, excuse me, about that. But it's always been they way, they outlook. And that's what most of us have been stuck on. When you are set apart, when you real, you go against this world. Now, we are made from the Most High. So when you are created in the image of someone, not only do you look like them, but you act like them. And if you know who you are, then you know pretty much you're going to go against the world system of Satan and stop trying to get equal with it. Problem with us is, not me personally, but we keep trying to get equal with a satanic world, keep trying to get equal with people who never was supposed to be equal with you. You keep crying out for justice from a satanic world. You can keep calling Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton. You can keep marching. You can keep protesting. You can do all that. If that makes you feel good, keep doing it. I don't do it because I know it's, it's not going to get nowhere. It didn't get nowhere. It's not getting nowhere. We've been marching and protesting for years, and we get killed more and more, murdered more and more. Hatred has never left. Racism is not going nowhere. Someone has to be targeted. Think about this. There has to be somebody targeted. It's us. Once again, we're not the only one because many Hispanics get gunned down. You just don't see it blowed up all the time on the news. Many white people get gunned down. You just don't see it blowed up all the time. It's not just us, but we do stick out more and it does happen more in our race. Because I have to make that point. We're not the only one that's just going through something. But let's look at truth 
and let's look at facts. Once again, I'm going to say this. If you don't know your identity, then you lost. Your children lost. They children lost. When you don't know your identity, you will accept anything they tell you or call you just like the term black man. The name they gave you and you accepted that. Not me. That's my black brother. I, I, and then you see confusion between African Americans and black people. Why? I get questions all the time. Why Africans can't stand black people? You see a ball of confusion because most of us don't know who we are. You see black Hebrew Israelites versus black Christians. You see black against black shooting each other more than any white man going to gun down a young teen as a, as a police officer. See, we haven't even learned how to stop black-on-black -black crime. The change starts right here. If you don't start right here, stop marching and talking about everything else. These evil powers, they have blacks against whites. They have Mexicans against others. They have everybody hating each other because it's a spiritual battle. Marching and protesting will not stop a spiritual battle. Marching and protesting does not stop demons, demonic ways. The only way to fight a demonic spirit is with a holy is with the Holy Spirit. Which is a spiritual battle once again. Our true enemy is that old devil. This beast system that you see. What did you think the New World Order was all about? They've been using the same trick for many years. I don't even call it a trick no more. Like I was saying earlier, we've been beat half to death. We've been water hosed down. Let me tell you something. I've had my share of the police and the crooked system. Me. I've been held at gunpoint with my little brother in the car because the color of my skin. I've been told that I look suspicious. I've been told that I fit the description. I've been told that you going to jail tonight for not even telling me why. I've been mistaken for the wrong people. I've been in trouble behind something I've never done. And to this day, I still don't hate the white man. I hate Satan. See, when you know who your enemy is, you learn to operate different, my brothers and sisters. I don't even hate the police. I hate what inside. I hate what's inside of so many police officers, but not all. Hell, I work with the police department a lot, lot, lot of times. We, we, we work together. And some people look at me crazy. They don't like that. Because all police officers are not bad. It's a lot of meals, but then there are a lot of police officers See, then you got to understand this. There are police officers that are demonized. There are judges. There are people in the Supreme Court. There are lawyers. There are crooked people. DEA, whatever you want to call it. FBI. There are people that are not people. Hmm. That's controlling a lot of this. You know what our weakness is? Each other and ourselves us hurting each other, not the white man. We gun down each other more on a daily basis. Behind the pearl shoes. Behind, that's my girl. You trying to holler at my girl. Behind this, behind that, behind this car. I want your car. I'm going to break in your house and rob you. My biggest problem have never been the white man. It was my own kind. But see, once again, this is a spiritual battle. Spiritual battle. History don't even talk about how most black people were slaves to other black people. Or some people might say how a lot of black people were slave were slaves to African Americans. You ever heard that before? It'll blow your mind. But once again, biblical slavery versus this American so called quote unquote BS they teach you is totally different. Any Anything or anyone could be your master. And it had nothing to do with color in the Bible. 
Have y'all ever heard of um, the black supremacy movement? Some of y'all I know are familiar with this, some of the older people. Um, but you remember that movement. Um, they, it was like African Americans, uh, they was told that they, they race is superior to all other races. And then you wonder why so many African Americans look down on quote unquote black people. That's why I can't stand the term black, whatever black is. Africa is not a country, it's a continent. We see more now killing, yes, more murders in us. Because, I'm going to tell you the real reason why, because we are the chosen ones. That's the, I can quit the video right there. We are the chosen ones. Not to knock any other race. Because the Bible shows you how others, Gentiles, were grafted in. But what the Most High set aside is chosen he never changed that. Never changed that. Think about this. But let, let me get back to what I was saying about that movement. Um, the the um, what what was the name of the movement I just said? I lost my thought. Um, come back to me. Oh, the Black Supremacy Movement. Now, in that movement, many people who supported that movement condemn the ancestors of the ancestors of whites for doing what? Enslaving the ancestors of the black people. That's where they, that's where they came from. The biblical slavery and the slavery that was practiced in the US once again are different. It's not what you think it is. Now we know the truth. Now let me go back to what I said earlier about the Jews. Once you understand who are the real Jews, who was the chosen ones, then you understand why so many fake Jews, fake people, keep trying to off black people. If that's what you want to use the term, quote unquote, black, I just y'all just gotta forgive me. I hate using that. That's just like somebody calling me nigga and I say that's my name. I'm gonna accept that. Know who you are. When you know who you are, then it's different once again. But once again, you are chosen. Y'all, we are chosen people. And the majority of people hate that. They don't like that. They want you dead once again. That's why you see a lot of these police officers, a lot of them are, are not even happy in their own home. So you got to find somebody to take it out on. Yeah, true enough, you don't see too many white cops gunning down another another white another white cop. I mean, another white um another white person, excuse me. Oh, that one. Well, that white man shot that little white boy in the leg. But that white man shot that brother in the head two times. Because officers are trained to harm you also. And they train to kill you. But they also know where to hit you at where you don't die. So when you see this stuff, it's not an accident. It's pretty much being, ex it's an execution. You, you, you train just like if somebody was to break in my house right now I I can either shoot them in their head or I can shoot them in their leg where they run out limping if they if they get me before I get them and that's different but I know how to pop you where you won't die I know how to hit you in your shoulder but if I'm aiming straight at your head or straight at your heart I wanted you dead Think about this, why we hate it on so much because of who we are. If somebody, if a race of people didn't mean nothing to you at all, why would you spend so much time trying to murder them, kill them? Why would you try to destroy their offspring? Why would you even care or spend any time wasting on somebody that's not important to you, that shows you how important we are and how stupid they are? How lost they are. But a lot of people know the truth on who we are. Sad thing is most of us don't know who we are. See, it's more to us than just playing basketball, being a great football player, being a great musician, so on and so on, sports or whatever. 
that you see most of us in. It's more than that. Some of us are being hated on because of we play basketball so good, football so good, great boxer. You are hated on because your, your ability to be able to do things. Some people hate on you just because they can't do what you do. That's what a hater is. But once you reach a certain level of understanding, it's very powerful. Your actions, once again, become different. Picture this in your mind for a moment. Now, we know some people believe in the word of the Most High. Some people don't. You got a lot of white people that believe, a lot of white people that don't. You got a lot of black people that believe, a lot that don't. Some people just don't care nothing for the word. But just think about this for a moment. I want to hit you with this thought. To the white people who can't stand truth in us. To the whites who hate blacks. In their mind, do you think they could really grasp the concept that Yahshua was a man of color? And that he died for us. All of us. He died for all color, all races. He didn't want to get on the cross, but he did. JT, what you mean by that? He said, Father, take this cup away from me. He said, but if it's in your will, then let your will be done. He didn't want to get on the cross, but he got on the cross being obedient. White people who hate, who hate blacks can't stand the fact that a man of color got on the cross. That's why they teach you so different. The Most High does not see color. The Most High look at sin inside of everyone and hates it. Well, that's why you should never marry a white woman. The Most High never had a problem with color. If you read the scriptures closely, the Most High had a problem with what? Idolatry, sin, wickedness. There was some in the Bible who married outside of their race. He had a problem with race. He had, excuse me, he had a problem with sin, wickedness. When you are set apart, you don't suppose, suppose, excuse me, to play a part. He knew the Most High knew what those other nations, the wicked ones, was doing. That's why he didn't want Israel marrying and mixing in with them. It never had nothing to do with color. Man, hatred, Satan has took color on a whole nother level. That's why I don't get mad when I see a black man with a white woman. White woman with a black man. What you do is what you do. It's your business. That's who you go home with. I don't have to go home with you no way. I can't stand the fact that people get mad at other people because they ain't with a sister. They done been with a sister four or five or six hundred times. They tired of the sister. They trying something different. Who in the Bible had a woman or women of different races. If the Most High had a problem with 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 um, color, then he would have had a problem with Moses and who Moses was with. Let me leave that alone, though. But not to jump off and all that. I'm just doing a little a little teaching here, and I can bag everything I'm saying up with the word if we need to go back to it. I've already done videos about that, though. But hatred turns into hatred actions. When you hate somebody, your heart is wicked. See, we've been hated on for a long time. So their job is to destroy us in any kind of way. Any kind of way. Now, do you really know how important you truly are? See, if most of us knew who we was and how important we was, we would continue to murder each other, black people against black people. Once again, that's what you want to call yourself. When you go back even in the Bible... Let's go back to somebody like Pharaoh. I know every time they show you a Bible movie, it's always white looking, Caucasian, or whatever you want to call it. That's different skin color. You never see us. There is a movie, I think it came out in 1979. Uh, Jesus something. I'll give, I, I give y'all a link to that later. But that was the first movie I ever seen where they had black people in the biblical type of a movie. It made a lot of people mad. Judas was black. Darker than me. That's why, I, once again, I hate the term black. But Pharaoh, look at what Pharaoh knew. 
Pharaoh was very powerful, we could say. But he was afraid of what? Why did the Most High had to tell Moses to tell them, let my people go? When he say, let my people go, what people are you talking about? Pharaoh was afraid of the black Hebrew slaves. They were strong. Crafty, Kabil. In the Bible, man, we just not talked about, but we were some of the most. We are the chosen. <laughs> we not dumb. Some of us just choose to stay dumb. But we are very wise. Everybody is not on the same level, like I say. But in order to main oppression, what was put in place? Slavery. But if you notice, every time we get beat down, we rise right back up. We rise right back up. What did Pharaoh do? He ordered the midwives to kill the young boys when they was born. Y'all know the story. But of course, the women, what? Did they really follow the Follow along with the demands. When you look at what the devil did, when you look at what Cain done, when you start talking about a bloodline and you murder somebody so they can't have children, just like Cain murdered Abel, then you destroy that man from heaven. You not only destroy that man, but you have destroyed pretty much a generation on top of generation on top of generations. The only way to stop offspring and generations bloodlines from coming in is to take that person out. You're killing offspring. But even with all of that, we just continue to keep rising. For some reason, we just rise more and more and more. Pharaoh became so hateful to the Hebrews that he put out an order. Killed all of, not the young women, wonder why. But kill all of the male babies. Kill them baby boys. Throw them into the Nile River. I'm, what I'm talking about is biblical. They became even more and more cruel. Time and time passed by in our day's time. What you see going on is the longer we be around here, the more we will be attacked. See, this has not just started happening now. You got to go back to who we are, where it started from. We've been, we've been being killed and murdered and hated on and persecuted since day one. We was lynched. We was hung on trees to our neck snap. We was hung where we peed on ourselves. But isn't it amazing how they hung the black men but then you took the black woman to be your maid while you slept with her, had children by her. And that same one that you call a nigga, that's disgusting, she raised your children. She wasn't too dirty for you to be, for she, but, she, but she could still clean your house. She could still raise your children. She could still cook. So they go to show you how stupid this is about color. Kill them, but keep that girl. <laughs> then they got even more smarter. They came out with the welfare system. <laughs> now they got all this government help. I'm going to preach this thing in a minute. I feel pretty good. They got all this government help that we continue to rely on. Because the more the, governor, the government gives you, the more they will control you. Section 8 put in place. It never was intended, it never was created for us to go outside the Most High's divine order. That's why they knew when they take the man out the house, the house was all the way over with. You move the man out the way, you move husband and wife out the way, then government slides in, satanic demonic demons slide in, and that's who your baby mama depends on. welfare then they start building more and more prisons prison is a business 
Racism is a business. Everything is a business. Religion is a business. They build more and more jails and, and more and more prisons, and we still keep rising. See, you can harm this body, but you can't mess with the soul. Even if something was to happen to me, that's why I'm not scared of nothing. If something was to happen to my flesh, you still can't take my soul. Same thing Job did to Satan that the Most High allowed Satan to do. Satan was not prosperous. Yeah, Job got sick. Yeah, his wife talked to him crazy. Yeah, he lost a lot of material things and his, his, his ten children, but look, then he got everything back. He didn't really lose nothing. If we had that mindset, don't ye slay me, yet still will I trust him. If we had that mindset, even if the Most High allows me to get killed, I'm still going to serve him. If we understand that, we would look at this totally different. Once again, what's going on is not new. You might just see it in a different way. Or is it the same way? Once again, I've been there. I know how I feel to be pulled over by a racist cop. But the difference between me and the ones that have died, for some reason, the most high let me live to tell the story. I've been slammed on my trunk, on my hood. Don't move or I'll shoot your black. Yeah. Gone in my back. Some reason the trigger didn't go off. I live to tell the story. I've been wrongly accused of rape. I've done face judges that looked at my skin and say he's guilty before evidence even came out. Punish him. Because I understand, now I truly do, who's behind the Supreme Court. Who's behind, who's behind the law. Who's put in place now. And I, I noticed that I live in the world that goes against everything that the Bible I believe the most high Elohim everything he say don't do this system says it's okay to do so I understand where I'm living at that's why I'm living in this world but I'm not of this world somebody probably saying JT what all this got to do what you saying about why they keep on hating on blacks so much killing blacks so much must I go a little further because I want to talk where somebody that may be listening, I ain't talking about everybody because a lot of y'all know where I'm going and know what I'm talking about in the video, but somebody may be lost, still trying to figure out why we still marching, protesting. It ain't getting you nowhere. I'm, I'm a victory, not how I used to say that. I'm a victory, not a victim. We have the victory. This battle is already won. Some of us just don't see it. We just got to, like the Bible say, those that endure to the end shall be saved. We are victory, not victims. Stop walking around as a victim because if you walk around as a victim, you will never move forward. Walk around as the victory. There's a song that Jonathan Nelson done um, called My Name is Victory. And I love how this song start off because it says, I got evidence. I've got confidence. I'm a conqueror. I know that. I win. I know who I am because the Most High wrote it in his plan for me. My name is Victory. The Most High gave me authority to conquer the enemy. He wrote it in my destiny. My name is Victory. He said that I've overcome. I know I've already won. He wrote it in my destiny. My name is Victory. I know my identity. See, that ain't just a song to sing. That's a song you live. But you can't be singing, your name is Victory, and you don't even know who you are. You can't go saying, my name is Victory, and then you, time you get out of church, you still playing a part of this world and what they doing because you mad at color. Know that you are hated on. Know that you every day you wake up, it's going to be somebody that don't like you because the color of your skin. Somebody don't like you because they know who exactly who you are. Something that's so simple said in the Bible that most of us don't catch. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. 
If you don't know your identity, if you don't have knowledge, how are you going to gain wisdom? They go hand in hand with each other. And then he said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, pray, then they will hear from the heavens. I would even heal they land. The Most High said that about, excuse me, his people. Well, when that was said in the Old Testament, who said it? Who was the people? See, everybody is not the Most High's people. They go to show you, y'all listen up, black people. They go to show you why we don't suppose to keep killing each other. If we See, that was rolled in, in the Old Covenant. If we, who are called by, yeah, the Most High, if we would turn from our wicked ways, what are we still doing? Murdering each other. I'm not saying that to down no other race, y'all. Trust me. I'm saying I'm teaching the truth. Because everything that's been going on nowadays and, and before nowadays has been going on for years we have always been put down and looked at and looked down on and, and not even mentioned. So I'm going to mention it. I'm tired of these movies. That's why I don't look at half of them. I'm tired of them saying, oh, it's a white Jesus, it's white this. Oh, we not in the Bible. Yes, we are. We've been in there. It's the reason why we, why we got lost, taken away. It's so much to say in this video. I'm trying to end it. But if we supposed to be, once again, set apart then, why are you trying to look like somebody else when they trying to look like us? Put a pen right there. Let, let me pause right there. Because I have to say this to our sisters, our queens. And I mean this out of love. All this image that they selling you, you forgot how wonderfully made you already are. Now, once again, it's a difference if you, you know, got cancer and all kind of stuff. Once again, you do what you want to do, but just to teach this. So many of y'all keep going out, buying all these tracks and weaves, trying to look like somebody else. They making the killing off of you, off of cosmetics, because they selling you an image of something, somebody. You see that magazine, ooh, I want to look like that. Why you think they trying to look like you? I don't know how many white women I've ran into that always tell me, I want that butt like the sisters got. I love her lips. I love her hips. I love her thighs. I want to look like her. So what they do, they pay for it. They pay to get blowed up like you, and then you pay to look like the image of a European woman or some other thing. They have made millions and trillions off of you trying to look like the image of somebody else. And most of us, I'm going somewhere else with this video. I'm just, hey, it's real talk video. Most of us as men, we don't tell you enough how beautiful you are. I compliment all the time. Because I love to see real beauty. I hate to see a woman putting on so much stuff, now you don't even look like who you were supposed to look like. Excuse me. Well, JT, where you get all that from? Because we, we, who image are we made in? Don't you know we are going against the most highest image when we try to look like somebody else? I don't want to wear my real hair. It's just too hard to do it. We got so many excuses, but you putting all these chemicals, lead poison, cosmetics, a lot of poison in it. You don't know what's in these chemicals. And then after a while, what do you see? Your real hair done been pulled out because of all the glue, all the tracks. I'm teaching y'all. True hurt. I don't knock nobody. Once again, whatever you got to do to make yourself look beautiful, if that's what you feel you need to do, do it. I'm just speaking truth. Because so many women are pulling, us are pulling, and our race are pulling their hair out. Skin is getting wore out. Yo, don't you know you got some of the most beautiful skin? I don't care how dark you are. You know what I love to see? A real chocolate. Hmm. Real chocolate. With that beautiful smile. With that beautiful hair.
with that beautiful personality who loves herself naturally. But I say this to say, beauty, beauty is in all colors. I love the dark skin, but I also love the light skin. As we say down here, I love the yellow bone. I also love my mixed brother over there. I love that white person. I also love that Hispanic. I love the Latino. I love the Mexican. I love that Chinese woman. I love that Creole. I don't care what color you are. I love you. But once again, when you have moved away the most high's image, that's why some of us don't know how to act and we don't know how to look. That's why you find yourself looking like, oh, I want that, I want that wig like such and such guy. You find yourself looking like the world, the satanic system. Our image is supposed to be of the most high. And then they sell you an image to look like somebody else. They continue to maintain oppression in so many ways. And we don't get it. We keep marching once again. Protesting. Trying to get equal. When we gonna get justice? Why do you keep looking for it in a satanic world? System. Not all of us do this. I get calls all the time or emails, JT, we gonna, you know, won't you join us with the um, Black Lives Matter? Hell no. All lives matter to me. Yeah, black lives matter. The white lives matter. All lives matter to me. Well, we got the Black Panthers. Why am I going to go march with some Black Panthers and protest when I, I got black people on my own street that can't even, we can't even walk down the street together without shooting each other. And I hate that fool, man. He on my block selling dope. Why? The change starts right here once again. I'm not trying to get equal with the satanic system. So every time I see people moving forward, when they want to, if they call they moving forward, you know, every time something happened to one of us, and you want to continue, if they make you feel good, do it once again. But don't call me. Because I'm looking at this spiritually. I have to keep moving. It's When it comes to a lot of stuff, I can't do nothing about I can't do nothing about it. So I move on. Because while you marching and protesting and getting mad and how now Black Lives Matter, while you doing that, another black person will be murdered, gunned down. So many ways. You would never get equal with a system. Now this is my question. If you are following the most highest order, system, divine order, why are you trying to get equal with a system that don't want you, don't like you? That's why, if you if you look at me as I wrap this video up, you know I've been speaking this way since a long time. That's why I don't give a damn about Black History Month. I wish they would get rid of it. I, I don't care. I never. I don't care about. I'm not knocking what people have done. But if a lot of our people that have passed knew biblical history, who they was, they would have realized that a whole, a whole lot of stuff they was doing, it was never going to be equal anyway. Because it never was for us. Black Lives Matter, you see how, you see how stupid that's becoming now and what people are doing. Civil rights is one of the worst things that ever happened. Politicians all up in the church. You could cry all day about, I need a black leader. We need a black president. We need another black church on the street. Black this, black this. We are divided. We never supposed to have been divided. What I said in the other video, six or seven churches on one street. What we talked about the other day, that old wicked Star Spangled Banner song, the Constitution. When they put the Constitution higher than the word of the Most High. When they don't recognize Yahshua's death, burial, and resurrection. <laughs> but they want you to recognize the flag. Racism here. Never left. Slavery. You can boycott all this stuff. You name it. All of the stuff that has happened up to now. It's still happening. 
Segregation? What's the new name for it now? Most people are in mental slavery. They locked up in their mind. What you thought was used for you was pretty much used against you. We are the chosen. We was chosen and we were stolen. So I said, all that to say, while blacks hate it so much, go back to the root of the problem. Go back to where it go back to where it started. Don't see the problem is we have been brainwashed with American history. America teach their way of history. And they BS on Thanksgiving. Who they think, you know, found America. America this. Is America really based on Christian principles? All this old crazy stuff. We are hated so much because of who we are. The chosen ones. Now you can take that to the bank. That's all I got to say for now. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day.